Let's look at customizing lower thirds. When we talk about lower thirds, we're thinking about that information that pops up in the lower one third of our screen. A viewer submitted this question about trying to customize an image inside a lower third. So what we'll do first is we'll talk about how to use quick properties in Camtasia to customize those lower thirds. And then we'll look at customizing a specific lower third. So you may recognize this lower third. This is the Nick Nimmin subscribe button. We're gonna use this, but I wanna show you an example here first. I'm gonna select it, control C to copy it. I'm gonna come out here, control V to paste. And then what I wanna do is ungroup this so you can see the issue that this current viewer is facing. So if we just ungroup all these things, I wanna select them all here and I'll press control G to group them. And you'll notice here in Camtasia 2021 that I have this group properties. And in here, the issue he was raising was saying, look, I see the callouts, I see the text, but I don't see the image that's there. What happened to the image? And what we can do is we can go in and edit these properties. You can see by default, it pulls in all of the shapes and all the text callouts, but it does not pull in these other things. So it doesn't pull in the pointer, it doesn't pull in this background image, and it doesn't pull in this profile image. So what we would wanna do, and what I suggested that he do, is edit and just add. And now when I click save, I have this image and I can change the image. Notice it says right click to import file, and I can right click, import a file, find my image, and now my image has replaced the old one. Now, as we see here, the grouping doesn't look right and it's not in the correct order and that's fine. But the real issue that I wanted to start with was how do we add an image to these quick properties? Okay, now let's look at the Nick Nimmin subscribe button. A few things I would do differently on here. First, I notice is right at the end, I'm gonna take you to the end and I'm gonna use the period key to go one frame to the right at a time. Notice how it goes down and a little bit to the left. It kind of slants just ever so slightly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to dive into this group. So I'm going to click the plus sign to jump in a little bit. And I see this animation. So let me zoom way in on this animation. So let's look at this animation here. When I click on this item, it says my X value is zero. In other words, I'm centered perfectly. And then as I go to the right, the X value goes to negative 35. So it's going off to the left. So for me to fix that, I'm just going to move this out to here. And I'm going to move my X value back to zero. And then whenever I watch this play out, it goes straight down. And that's exactly what I want. Now let's dive a little deeper in here. I'm gonna expand this group. So I see this red subscribe button here, and I see this gray subscribed button here. And what we see is that there's a switch as the user clicks it. So I wanna show that that's a little bit more of a click. So to show that being a click, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select both of these items. Now this is the text and the shape, and I'm gonna do a control G to group those two. And what I wanna do is show this button being pressed. And typically how we show that is we just make it a little bit smaller. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab this here and I'm going to go and split just this last part of the group. So I'm going to select it, press the S key on my keyboard to split. And I'm gonna take this and instead of it being 100%, I'm gonna make it a little smaller. The other thing I wanna do is add a click noise right when it changes. And Camtasia includes a click noise. If you go over to cursor effects, and the left mouse button, you can see there's a sound. Now, the way we add this sound effect is to a click inside a Camtasia screen recording. So what we need to do is create a recording. So I'll click record, I'll press the record button on the screen, I'll click one time, and then I'll stop. I'll call that file click, I'll close the recorder, and then I'll grab that click file and bring it down here. Now, I'm not exactly sure where that noise is going to happen, so let me go ahead back to cursor effects, grab that sound, and drag it down. Now, when I drag it down, and I expand this, I can see that click happens right here. And I want that to happen right when we press the button. So I'm gonna trim this first part down and I'm gonna move this so that that dot happens right at the beginning of this split. And I'll trim the other end too because we don't need it to last too long. Now we have the sound and we don't need the image. So for whatever reason, that image is here and we need it off the screen. So I'll just grab it and drag it off the screen here so we don't see anything. And then when I play through, I get that clicking sound. The last thing that I would do is I would go back to my main timeline and I would add this to my library. So I would right click, add to library. I would select my YouTube library and I would call this Nick Nimmin subscribe two and click okay. I would put it in with my Nick Nimmin folder. And then whenever I need to add it, I'll just right click subscribe two and say, add to timeline at Playhead. So thank you for submitting that question. If you have questions that you'd like to have answered on this channel, leave a comment below and let me know how I can help you create better videos with Camtasia. I'm Ron from Cam Mastery. I'll see you in the next video.